Today's specials, we don't have any. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! What's up, rascals? Welcome to Elder Vale, a third-person survival horror game demo that I found on Itch that, uh, I don't know, it kind of caught my eye and I caught my attention and all that good stuff. I thought it was interesting, I wanted to see what it was like, and I want to drag you along with me. I mean, share it with you. So, without further ado, let's check it out. Press space to start. My name is Ophelia Delaney. I was born in a quiet little town called Alderstow. My family used to own a large estate there, the Delaney Institution. They took care of children that were different. Deviants, the town's folk called them. But my parents helped them make or but my parents helped to make them feel safe and comfortable in our boarding school. When I was seven, I got affected by an unknown illness. The doctors tried everything, but didn't think I would live. My parents were contacted by a wealthy stranger who said to have the money and resources to cure me. He asked to be the headmaster of the institution in return. That sounds very, um, red flagish. <laughs> children started disappearing. The whole town was looking for them. One day, the police showed up. They said my father had something to do with the case. I had to move to another town to live with my aunt. I haven't heard from my parents since. Ten years have passed, and I still can't shake the feeling that something terrible happened there, and I was a part of it. So, that give you an idea of what's going on? Good. Let's see. Whoa. So it said in the description that this was supposed to uh, remind you of like early 2000s horror games. So kind of like uh, Silent Hill and Resident Evil. The third person aspect of it definitely is reminiscent of uh, Silent Hill. Now let's see. Hello! Ophelia, you look like a... Anorex... You look like a Bratz doll or something. Interesting walk cycle. Well, not interesting, but, uh... Good, smooth walk cycle, I guess. Um... Oh! I've got a zoom feature. But, how do I interact with things? Um... Well, the phone doesn't seem to be working. I kind of suspected as much, even though the light's on right there, that doesn't seem to have power. The door's locked. You need a key. Are you... T Whoa. Is that just the ambient music, or is there something actually already out to get me? The cafeteria, maybe? I could use a snack. That door's locked from the other side. Of course it is. Oh, boy. But if it's locked from the other side, that means that somehow, some way, I will be able to get in, maybe? Or maybe I'm just fubbernucked. To borrow a phrase. Um, what's down here? Can I run? I can run. Yes. Run. And check that every door is locked. What else can I interact with? And also... Yep, I have infinite sprint. Hooray! All right, upstairs. Let's check out. Maybe I shouldn't run so much. There might be creepy crawlies that hear me running. Well, they'll definitely hear me trudging up the steps. Kerklomp, kerklomp, kerklomp go my high heels I bet I'm wearing. Oh, nope. Maybe clawed hopper boots. Creaky floors. Neat. Every door is locked. Where am I going to find an unlocked door? The door is shut tight. Well, that's not locked. But maybe I can... Maybe I can budge on it. Excuse me? I'm not sure what... Hello! Finally a... Room. That is... 
creepily waiting for me with a candle. Uh, is that a portrait of my parents? Mama, Papa, a picture of my parents. There, this was play. I couldn't read. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a slow reader. Let me read that again. This place was their life's work. They deserve better. Yeah. I'm going to take your shit, whoever left these. A matchstick. That didn't look like a matchstick. That looked like a full-on cigarette. What's over here? Nothing to interact with. Whoa. I can guarantee you that the sudden change in uh, camera angle might be very dizzying, but it's a cool effect. Hello, I'm looking for clues. I'm like Scooby-Doo, I'm searching for mysteries. Is there perchance a masked man that I can unmask who is chasing me around? Maybe. The door's shut. Okay, what did I pick up? Um, Matches and a token handed out for good behavior. Can be spent... Oh, bribery money! I, I have a heart rate meter. How is that going to play into the game? So, where to now? With my good boy coin. Or good girl in this case. Hello! Search around, search for clues. Yeah, oh wait. Check out the information thingy. I found a map that I just straight up took. Someone lost the key to the staff entrance, so we have to use the spare one in Dr. Clark's... If I could frickin' read... I'm trying to. Someone lost the key to the staff entrance, so we have to use the spare one Dr. Clark has. You can find him in his office with that odd antique clock. Odd antique clock, you say? Was that the room that we were in upstairs, or...? Wait, we've got a map now, so... Where, how do I access the map? Ah! Okay. This tells me nothing. The... this place? Nope. Okay, so let's go back upstairs and see if that room that we were able to get into was the office of this Dr. Clark. Maybe we left too soon, and we need to search the room a little bit smarter. Hello? Oh, what? Nope. I thought I saw something on the floor there. Um... Wait. Oh. Bugger! Quit fooling me so! What about... The door is shut tight. I'm searching around for stuff and things. Mysteries abound, what will they bring? Why am I singing a ditty about this stupid game? It's not stupid. I, I've i just started this. I have no real reason to make a snap judgment on it. But, what's this? Today's specials, we don't have any. Hardy har har. Locked from the other side. Every other door is locked from the other side. I would like to find a door that's not so locked. And... Oh, okay. Herf derf. Whoa. Random angle cutscene type dealio. So, this must be Dr. Clerk's office. Now we crouch, no. I can't jump. Poopy. So, where might I find a key in here? Or maybe there's one on this side of the door. Aha! 
Well, there's a weird clock. And more matches. Dr. Clark, we regret to inform you that we had to move the antique clock to make way for the digital one, as requested by the new leadership. We know how much you liked the old one, so you can still find it in Classroom 102. Okay. What does the clock have to do with anything? Hello? I'll take another matchstick, thank you much. What about in here? No. Where, where for out though is key? I want to find a key. That's what I came here for. And by golly, that's what I'm gonna find. This is new. Who are you? Who was that walking down the hallway that were? Ooh, I'm not alone. Let's get to 102. And maybe... Wait, 101... There's a pair of 101s. Does that mean that these are both the same room? Two doors entering to the same room. Yep. No, thank you. I'll take that. Hello? Oh, look, another good boy coin. Uh, okay. Take that. I've got me two good boy coins. Wait, what are you? Uh, another matchstick. Apparently, I'm going to need that if lights are going to start flickering off completely. It's startling me so. With people being sneaky troll faces. Maybe hide. Like a certain other game we've played. What's this? The other door. Hello? No one's going to sneak out and yell boo? Jump at me? Be all meanie pants? There's 102. Dang it, of course it's locked. The place where in which I need a key is locked by key. Ooh, bathroom. Creepy things happen in bathrooms. Hide in the stall. Hide in the stall. Meow. Okay. That was fun. Okay. What about in here? People be flushing properly? Good. What about... Oh. That's not right. Also, ah, uh, mystery compels. If only I had some Scooby snacks for courage. Wait, is this, is this the ladies' room? Is this a hidden sneaky room? A hidden sneaky pathway to the ladies' room. And then cut scene to... Oh, wow. Someone had a hard time flushing. What the hell? It looks like a person crushed into the toilet bowl. Cannot be real. It's real disturbing. <laughs> I'm just waiting for something to jump out at me for no good reason. A bucket filled with a strange liquid. It looks more dense than blood. Smells different, too. Ah. Uh, goody. Well, I think I'm going to stop this video right here. Gave you guys a tasty morsel to wet your appetite or some kind of weird analogy. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you like this one, let me know by giving that like button a bop. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze. Mm -hmm.